Uganda is God's own nation. God's own nation. But God just want me to pass this message to people of Uganda. It's God's own nation. No doubt about that. A mighty tree in God's vineyard is about to fall in Uganda. A mighty tree in God's vineyard is about to drop in the nation of Uganda. For mind you, God is aware. So therefore, people of Uganda rejoice. For what shall it profit a man to sojourn on this earth at the end of the day, miss heaven? The nation of Uganda, a mighty tree, the vineyard of God is about to fall. But rejoice, God is aware. God is aware. God is aware. I said this message because it's very close. I said it one Sunday in the church, and I still want to repeat it. God has given me the name of the leader of a country. The country's name has been mentioned as well. The vision is very clear, but I'm not permitted to disclose it. The one of Uganda, I'm just permitted to say it now. It has been coming on and on and on. You know, one thing about God is when God gives you a message, uh, he will expect you to wait for him to ask you to deliver it. If God gives you a message, a lot of excitement, you push it out. Don't be surprised that. Uh, God may change it the day you say it will not change. And you'll be declared as prophet of doom, whereas you are a disobedient prophet. So therefore, when God gives you a cup of water, wait for him to say drink before you drink it. That is how to recognize obedient prophets, obedient men of God. So therefore, I told you that a president is about to cross a border. He will cross the border from this to that. But the question is, will he be able to come back here again? That's the question. Where is he going? If God permits me to disclose the name of the Minister, I mean, uh, the, the president or the leader of the nation, I will say it. But for now, that's how you know obedient prophets, obedient ministers of God. They don't go beyond their boundary. There's a difference between hold this cup of water and there's also a difference between hold it and drink it. There's instruction for you to hold it, instruction for you to drink it. But some prophets, though we are ordained by God, but out of over excitement, they will begin to drink. Before God said drink. And you may drink that water, it will start causing you stomach pain. And God will not bother to heal you because you are disobedient. What am I trying to say? Let me tell you a true life story. If you know a man of God, very close to you, that God uses, tell him to be careful to always wait for God's time. There are two categories of prophets. Obedient prophets and disobedient prophets, though from the same father. Take notes. Just like you as a father, as a mother, you have five children. You can't tell me that your love for them is equal. It's impossible. You may not say it. I know it's impossible. It's not possible. That does not mean you don't love them. There must be one you love so much, but you're not showing it to that person. How do you do it? When it is time for Christmas outing, or perhaps going to mall to shop, you will call five of them. John, take this $2,000. Go, 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 go anywhere you want to go. It's Elizabeth you are targeting. Deborah, take this $2,000. Go, 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 go. Hey, mommy, $2,000. John, take this. Matthew, take this. When you come to Elizabeth, take this $3,000. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Why? Because Elizabeth is very humble to you very obedient to you. Elizabeth, stop that. Yes, ma'am. Will you do it again? I will not. Yes, ma'am. 
in your heart, you'll be happy. But John, stop that. Oh, mommy, I will not stop it. Oh, I will not stop it. Give me a chance to do it again now. Oh, mommy, give me a chance. Matthew, go and fetch water for me. I'm tired, mommy. Oh, no, no, I'm tired. I read overnight. I always had a headache. Mommy, come and touch my head. It's really hot. <laughs> but Elizabeth, go and fetch water. Yes, ma'am. You run and run back with the water in your heart. That is it. The same thing in the vineyard of God. The same father, but different attitudes from the children towards God. So therefore, there are some God will show his heart. And why others, God will show his body. But the heart of God is God himself. It's a parable. So that is it. To see the heart of God, it takes obedience and humility. So therefore, when God gives you a message and says it is going to rain on Thursday, if you are an obedient prophet, what will you do? You will not say it immediately. You have to go back to God in prayer and ask God, God, I know I may not be the only servant you have on this earth. Is there any servant you love more than me that can change that prophecy if I say it? <laughs> You'll be surprised that that very Thursday, God told you that it's going to rain. The apple of his eye may want to have a program on that Thursday. What will you do? Meanwhile, you as a prophet that is disobedient to God, instead of waiting for God to give you time to say that prophecy to the public, you now come out because you want to show yourself. <clears throat> hey, look here, look here, look here. Look here, viewers all over the world, mark my words. It is going to rain this Thursday. What did I say? They will repeat, it is going to rain this Thursday. Ah. You smile, you put your hand in your pocket, you cross your leg. And you don't know that. There's somebody who wants to have a program in an open field, whom God loves more than you. He may heard that prophecy, it's going to rain. He will go into his closet. Say, Lord, if it rains, where will I put these people? Please, Lord, let it rain on Friday. Please, please. And those who are the apple of God's eye, God does not hear their cry. He will scatter the earth on their behalf. <laughs> there are people like that. Immediately that man cries to God. God will say, okay, 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 okay. I will shift it to Friday. <laughs> Whereas on Thursday, the media, they have focused their camera on the sky to see rain coming down on Thursday. And they have put it in the media. Prophet so, 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 so says it's going to run on Thursday. The camera is there. Once it's Thursday morning, afternoon, the sky became very bright. You... <coughs> I'm very sure at that point you develop hypertension. Lord, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. For where? Somebody God loves more than you has changed it. You realize that after Thursday, no rain. You will be declared as prophet of doom. No. You are not a prophet of doom. You are a disobedient prophet. So that is it. If you're a man of... <coughs> If you're a man of God here, listen and listen attentively. Wait for God's time before you say anything. Whatever God shows you in Revelation, God is showing you, He's equally showing other people. But wait for confirmation. When He confirms to you, you will see that He has confirmed to you clearly. You will not doubt it. Then you can be confident to say it. And it must happen. That is God for you. That is God for you. Beware of fraudsters. Viewers all over the world, it has come to our attention that some fraudsters are going around requesting for funds from people who are too desperate and impatient to follow the right procedure in order to locate the right channel or the right source. These fraudsters parade themselves as representatives of Elohim Ministry, Wise Man Daniel Ministry, or Wise Man Daniel himself. They are fake. They are fraudsters. Please do not fall for their tricks and tactics. Below are some of the fake YouTube channels and social media handles created by these fraudsters in order to deceive you, our viewers.
These are our official social media accounts and contact details. Our official YouTube channel is www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Wiseman Daniel Ministries. Our official Instagram handle is Wiseman underscore Daniel Ministries. Congratulations, viewers all over the world. We are now on Facebook and on Twitter. Our official Facebook handle is facebook.com forward slash Wiseman Daniel Official. Our official Twitter handle is twitter.com forward slash WMD Ministries. Our TikTok handle is at Wiseman Daniel Ministries. Our official website addresses are www.elohimonline.org. and www.christstandard.tv Our official email addresses are info at elohimonline.org and info at christstandard.tv These are our contact details and they are all available on WhatsApp. Our prayer request line is plus 234 902 1470247 Our testimony line is plus 2349015113002 Our inquiry lines are plus 2347040945007 and plus 2349048824876 our partnership lines are plus 234-703-144-8611 and plus 234-906-141-4886. And do remember, all of these numbers are available on WhatsApp. Viewers all over the world, note that any other website addresses, social media handles, or contact details, apart from the ones we have listed above, are not from Elohim Ministry, Wise Man Daniel Ministry, nor from Wise Man Daniel himself. God bless you. Elohim, God lives in us. John 14, verse 23.